And now, the weather. Your weather is rolling into Georgia tonight, and there's a chance of isolated tornadoes. Grady News Source reporter Noel Ashley has more on how to stay safe during a tornado warning. It's a cloudy, quiet day on UGA's campus, but that will change when strong storms get to Athens tonight. Storms that move in overnight, what we call nocturnal severe weather, is particularly dangerous because people tend to be asleep or not paying as much attention. Tonight's storm has a chance of isolated tornadoes, so here's what to do if one touches down near you. If you're outside a building and hear tornado sirens go off, the first thing you need to do is go inside. Then go to the lowest level of the building that you're in. Stay away from any doors and windows and look for signs like these that show you a safe place to hide. Here's what to do if you hear tornado sirens while you're driving. The first thing you need to do is roll up your windows if they're down. Then pull the car over. Make sure that your seat belt is buckled. The seatbelt will help you stay safely in your car just in case you do get hit by a tornado. As soon as the seatbelt is buckled, get as low to the ground as you can. Here are some tips to stay safe during a tornado from the UGA Office of Emergency Preparedness. Don't count on sirens. They're made to be heard outside, so you might not be able to hear them in your house or dorm. Leave your phone on loud. Sign up for the UGA Emergency Alert System and install a weather app. Don't hide under shelves or any other things that could fall on top of you. And stay away from any doors and windows. Noelle Lashley, Grady News Source. We will continue to monitor the weather to see if and when any threats are on the way. Noelle is keeping an eye on those storms and she joins us now with a live update. Noelle, what can we expect from the weather tonight? Well, Carson and Elizabeth, there is some interesting weather rolling in, severe weather. We have a line of severe storms rolling in from Alabama into Georgia, and those storms could bring some isolated tornadoes and hail. So like I told you a couple minutes ago, just stay safe, especially because these storms are going to be happening overnight. Really listen. If you're not able to hear the siren inside of your house, turn on your weather app. Just make sure that you are aware of everything that's going on. Now, the peak time for these storms is going to be from now to midnight. It might be extending a little bit. Just keep an eye on it because I know that's a popular time when everybody's actually asleep. Now, for our five-day forecast, as soon as we get through this severe weather bout, tomorrow the high will be 72 degrees. There will be a little bit of rain, but nothing too bad. Then the rest of the week, we're going to have the normal Georgia phenomenon where we experience a whole nother season in a seven-day span. It's it's going to get colder. We're going to drop down into the 50s. Lows are going to be in the 30s. So I know it's been tempting to break out those springtime outfits, but keep a coat on hand in your car because it's going to be chilly. Thursday, the sun is going to come out completely high of 60, low of 36. Friday, we're going to get up to 65, low of 46. Saturday, we're going to have some clouds and potential rain again. High of 68, low of 52. So we're finally going to get warmer this week. Now, I know that these storms can be a little bit nerve wracking, but just remember what I told you a few minutes ago. Even though it's only for tonight, make sure that you have a bike helmet if you can, because if something falls, the best thing to have to protect your head is a bike helmet. Don't hide underneath of shelves. Don't hide underneath anything that can fall on top of you. If you can get inside the lower floor of your house, maybe in a bathtub, in a bathroom, in some, door, in some room without doors or windows. Whatever you do, do not open the windows. I talked to people today who told me that's actually a popular thing because some people think that helps the atmospheric pressure. It does not. Stay as far away from doors and windows if you can, if there's debris. And even if there is a weak tornado, it can still cause significant damage. So make sure that you have a weather app downloaded that can give you alerts. Keep your phone on loud. Also, if you're on UGA's campus, you can sign up for the UGA Emergency Preparedness Alert. Sign up for those. You will get a phone call. You will get a text message. You will get an email telling you exactly what's going on, what weather they've seen, and how to stay safe. So I know that a lot of us dread bad weather. 
but there's a group of people on campus who are actually happy to see that happen, and that is UGA's meteorology students. And specifically, they're happy this weather is happening today because of a weather balloon launch. So these students braved the mud to go watch this launch. Vesela, which is a company that makes weather instruments, came to campus to teach students about these weather instruments and how to launch them. So a few brave volunteers that I saw went out and actually helped fill the weather balloon with a tank of helium. Now the cool thing about this is the weather balloon will collect weather data. And everybody was really excited when I was there because it'll be collecting weather data about the storm and they can actually verify the forecast to see if it is correct. So here's one of the gentlemen that I spoke to today. So we'll actually be able to take some of the data from the sounding, look at it in the class and see what, you know, after we see what happens with the, with the weather today, see how that, that worked with the forecast. In other words, verifying the forecast. So they're going to be verifying the forecast and we're going to be watching the forecast. Right now, I'm actually outside. There have been a couple droplets, but nothing really bad quite yet. But I will keep you updated on any weather changes. And remember, download that weather app, leave your phone on loud, and if you hear a tornado siren, even if you don't hear a tornado siren, you just hear some kind of alert, seek shelter and stay safe. I'm Noelle Lashley with your Grady News Source Weather. Thank you so Thank much, you. Noelle.